Hey guys, welcome back to Games Galore, and today we'll be talking about why Tommy Innit could be switching to Roblox. Please don't forget to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon as well to never miss out on any future videos. We make stuff just like this very one, it'd be an absolute shame if you were to miss out on any of it. Also, please do make sure to go ahead and drop a like and comment down below, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now for a brief introduction, Tommy Innit, more commonly known as Tommy, is a founding member and former vice president of Lamanberg, which is a thing in the dream universe, and a founding member of Pogtopia. Now during the Sioux administration and the Manberg Rebellion arc, Tommy was most often seen as Wilbur's right hand man, but after his death, Tommy was forced to work independently. And rumor now has it that he is considering leaving Minecraft entirely and just going to play Roblox forever. So why would he do that? Well, he has lots of reasons for why he would, so we'll be go ahead and discussing a few of those. For some background information on that, he is a neutral member on the server after his exile from Lamanberg by Dream and he briefly assisted Technoblade after Lostage Shire's destruction. Though he returned to Lamanberg after having a moral dilemma, after Doomsday, Tommy returned to being a neutral member and refused to settle down in Snowchester with Tubbo, preferring to avoid nation-based conflict. Now, Tommy's main goal on the server was to reclaim his disc from Dream as part of the disc saga. Following the disc confrontation, Tommy, along with Tubbo and the aid of the rest of the server members, defeated and imprisoned Dream in Pandora's Vault, with Tommy finally reclaiming and retiring his discs. Now, Tommy intended to retreat to a self-fulfilling lifestyle and was hoping to capitalize on the server by hiring an awesome dude to make his hotel in his name. And he was entrapped with Dream in the prison for at least a week because of a security issue that was brought up while he was visiting. However, Tommy persisted that the necromancy book Dream claimed to have wasn't real, and an argument over this led to Dream killing Tommy, taking his final life. And two days later, Dream resurrected Tommy, restoring at least one of his canon lives, although his current amount of lives is unknown. Let's just go ahead and get into the nitty gritty of it. If Dream made him essentially a simple side character after everything that happened, I would want to leave as well. He would probably be a massive hit with the Roblox community and he would love it too. There's already so much variety. Roblox, as you all know, has over 16 million games on the site at the moment. Each one of them is different in its own right and anyone can make a game for free and host it on Roblox itself for absolutely 100% free. And Dream, however, would likely hunt him like he has hunters chase him while he does speedruns. He may even join Roblox lobbies that he's in and just try to troll him back into the Minecraft server. And that is where Dream has all the power. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think Tommy should do his own thing or just stick with the Dream team? Please do let us know down in the comment section below. And if Tommy is actually on his last life on that server, I wouldn't want to just keep playing Roblox forever, constantly being stressed about whether or not I would die and then not know what content to make. So that's why in all honesty, if I were him, I would just go ahead and switch over to Roblox because the videos are much, much more fun to make and a little bit easier in all honesty. And the thing is with him, he's a great content creator and a great guy and I think Dream is trying to take advantage of him and just try to squeeze content out of him like a cow is milked. Well guys, that was our video for today all about why Tommy Innit could be switching to Roblox and why Dream may be mad about it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and if you did happen to enjoy it, we would ask you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as well to never miss out on any future videos because as you guys know there's a glitch on YouTube to where if you don't hit the bell icon you won't get notified if you actually are a subscriber. Also please do go ahead and share this video with a friend and make sure to like it as well. And this has been Games Galore and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching and have a great and fantastic day.